Hello there, and welcome back to another video, and today I will be speed building and reviewing LEGO set number 76295, Hogwarts Moments Charms class from LEGO Harry Potter. Now this set has 256 pieces, and that includes three minifigures, and it is right here. So today I'm going to build this and wrap it up into a very quick speed build. So here is the completed build. Build time today was about half an hour and let's just jump straight into it. So the first minifigure we get is Cho Chang. She has these plain black legs and then on her torso um, there's of course the Ravenclaw collars with the tie and the stripes at the bottom and the crest in the corner. And on the back there's a continuation of that print with some creases as well. Um, her main expression is just a nice smiling expression and as the alternate expression there's a slightly sadder, maybe more scared expression and then she's got this nice straight black hair. I have to say though it's slightly weird that they chose not to include a wand for her but apart from that I'd say it's a nice minifigure. Of course we also get Harry Potter and again he has plain black legs, his torso is identical to Cho Chang's except with Gryffindor colours instead of Ravenclaw and he does have a wand this time so that's good um, and he has a nice smiling expression and there's of course the glasses and there's a cutout for the scar um, and of course a scared expression on the back. Um, and I really like this hair piece they've been using for five years now, um, which again has a nice cutout for the scar there. We also get this really nice minifigure of Professor Flitwick, of his appearance in the first film, which is nice, we've never got that before. Uh, he has plain grey legs, and then his torso is really nicely printed, there's some metallic on there for his vest. Um, and buttons and there's a nice floral print as well um, and on the back you can see the buttons and a continuation of some of the prints and more metallic as well he's got this really nice big moustache um, which continues around the back with some hair down at the bottom and he has a very nice facial expression as well and I, th I just absolutely love this minifigure and I'm glad that we've finally got a minifigure of the original design for Flitwick. We also get an assortment of random objects. We get this book here, um, which of course tells you how to perform the spell Wingardium Leviosa. Just some standard prints there. Um, we get a cookie piece, which is um, again just a standard print. And then this nice cup piece as well. Um, yeah, just a few random stuff there. But of course, the main feature in the set is the book itself. This time on the front, again, we've got the Hogwarts crest and the printing. We have a wand, a feather, some sort of scroll there, another scroll, another feather, and a nice witch's hat. Um, on the side, you've got another wand and a feather, and of course, the stripes in blue and yellow. Again, of course, no printing on the back, but we do have some more of these nice corner pieces to decorate. Of course, these books can be opened up, so I will do that now. So, as you can see, this does make a nice display, so I will talk about it. First of all, you get these nice benches and desks, a nice simple construction, but I do think they look very nice. Um, of course, it's got the benches there, jumper plates just for the look at the top of the book when it's closed up. And this is quite nice how it has the cutouts for the minifigures' legs, if they could bend their legs. 
Um, but yeah, you do get two of these, which I think is very nice. You also get this chest, which contains some feathers, of course, for practicing Wingardium Leviosa, as well as a nice stack of books for Flitwick to stand on. Um, as well as that, there's this box here, but unfortunately there is nothing in it. Uh, I'm not really sure why they included that, but they did. And there's also some nice textures and shapes around it, and another sticker on the back for the pages of the books. And finally, you get this really nice trophy case, which can actually be opened up. Um, and in here, you've just got a nice simple goblet and a key. Uh, I'm not really sure why they made um, they made it openable, but. Um, it's a nice enough little build. And of course we get the classroom itself. So if we start up here, you can see there is a nice sticker with some words on there and the Ravenclaw house banner as well. And then you also get this nice blackboard teaching you how to perform the spell Wingardium Leviosa. Um, a few more books here and a letter there. And there's also this nice fireplace as well. And I really like that these bits sticking out here slot perfectly into there. Of course, that is so you can fold it up, but for some reason I just really like that. Then if you move over to the middle, there is a cabinet here, which can be opened to reveal absolutely nothing. There's also this nice window pane. And up at the top there's some nice decoration with these scroll pieces, but not much else going on there. And finally we get this section here, another of these stickers, this time without the Ravenclaw banner. Um, and you can see there's a bookshelf here with those stickered books, and a few more books down there, and a nice archway. And of course that can be folded up too. Of course, they also included these pieces on the book, so you can connect them with the previous books. And that creates this nice display of the spines of the books. And of course, you can open them all up to create one big scene. So I'll do that now. <laughs> Because there's four now, it does get very crowded. You can see there's the Hufflepuff greenhouse here, and there's not even enough space for you to fold down this table. Um, of course, there's the Ravenclaw classroom here, which looks okay. The Gryffindor classroom is again quite crowded with all the stools. And of course, the Slytherin classroom here. Um, yeah, that one's quite crowded as well. Um, but if you want to, you can combine them all. But like I said, it does get very crowded. All in all, I think this is a great set. It's got some nice minifigures, especially Flitwick there. And I think it opens up into a very nice scene. I especially like how they used benches and desks. I think that's nice. I liked the inclusion of the podium for Flitwick to stand on. And I really like this trophy case as well. And I just think it opens up into a very nice classroom setting. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.